welcome to ultimate survival gear today as you guys can see can you see i have something from adidas let's open up the box and see what we got these are very popular trail running shoes from adidas quite unique with quite unique look as you can see terex voyager 21 trail running shoes check these out with some uh, bungee lacing system very similar to quick lace on uh, Salomon, which I like quite a lot. Very, very good outsole, really good comfort, very lightweight. And if you want to save environment, these are made 50% out of the recycled materials. <laughs> Pretty impressive. So this is not the regular review. Some of you guys uh, haven't watched any of my reviews yet. This review specifically for my ultimate survival shoe section yes yes 50 percent recycled materials for your survival if you were in a survival situation whether it's a combat situation tactical situation or maybe post disaster we had hurricane ian a couple of weeks ago here and this is the shoes that you had on and now you were well surviving you had to walk for miles you had to run you had to climb you had to fight i don't know whatever kind of survival situation you have in mind would this be good as a survival shoes? How do we make the judgment? We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let the review begin. Criteria number one, of course, comfort level. And in order to test the comfort level of all the shoes and boots that I review on this channel, I do a three mile run, non-stop, no pauses in between. And then I do a five mile walk right after. No pauses, no stops. And then I continue wearing the shoes for the rest of the day for the total of eight hours and I do it for everything I review on this channel so that uh, my judgment is very very kind of uh, that there's a big good baseline and I can judge off of it like I said very comfortable shoe overall I do like the comfort level of the shoes there are a few factors that contribute to the comfort level let's start with the first one one of the more obvious ones the weight and uh, this is size 10 by the way don't pay attention to my beat up arms I'm sorry about that that's some uh, climbing gym for you uh, but Size 10, and uh, let's see exactly how heavy or light. 10.9, 10.9. I have to say it's very, very, very impressive for a shoe. Usually, to give you kind of reference numbers, I recommend, you know, whenever it comes to the shoes, uh, finding trying to find something around 15 ounce and less. Uh, if you go more than 15 ounce, now you're adding that bulk, unnecessary bulk on your feet. You know, if you're walking for extended periods of time or if you're running, you will definitely start feeling that weight. 10 is very, very impressive. So Adidas did a really, really good job, but that's not the only thing that contributes to the comfort level. Let's move on to the flexibility of the outsole. And here, well, outsole, midsole, the whole sole basically, check it out. As you can see, it is uh, very nice and flexible. It creases in the right spots. This material is, the 50% recycled material is fairly soft, so the creases don't really press into your foot. Very good overall. Uh, not too flimsy for a rocky road, but at the same time have enough flexibility to actually run properly in these shoes. But let's move on to the inner sole. Let me uh, try to remove it. It's not so easy to remove because it has actually a very sticky material. You know what? I'm not even going to bother with removing that. I'll just show it to you right here. But the inner sole is very, very basic. There is no defined heel bed. There is no defined defined our sport i know some people prefer it some people like a little bit of a support if you like a little bit of uh, firmer flatter inner sole and feel to it you're gonna appreciate this if not well you might probably want to look around some more let's move on to some padding here's the thing that's another thing that is kind of like very very personal preference uh there's not much padding the tongue, no padding, shaft, no padding. The heel has barely just a tiny little bit. Throughout the whole shoe, you don't really have any padding at all. This material, which actually feels like Cordura. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's uh, the no padding at all. It just goes straight into it. And uh, I, to me personally, I if, you, if you're getting these shoes, especially for the trail run, I would recommend probably thicker socks just to add a little bit more cushioning to, you know, overall. Uh, get, get yourself a good pair of uh, darn tough socks and you're going to appreciate these shoes quite a lot compared to without it. Uh, all right. So overall on the comfort level, I think it's a good overall comfort level, but it's 
definitely personal preference. Do you want a little bit, you know, less, lighter, and not all this padding, all this cushioning, just, just, you know, hardcore, lightweight trail running shoe? Or if you want some more padding. If you want some more padding, you probably want to look around some more. Let's move on to the criteria number two, proofing and protection. Okay, so these are advertised as water resistant, which, <laughs> which is nothing, basically. These are not waterproof, yeah. But again, with the shoes, I really don't care because you really don't have that much of uh, the clearance anyway to for waterproofing to be effective. So I, I don't worry about that. Whenever it comes to the protection, again, not much. There's a little bit... I wanted to say reinforcement, but really this is this is no reinforcement at all. It's just a design feature. This is super soft. You drop anything, you drop a breadcrumb on the toe and you're going to feel it. So keep that in mind. If you're rock, running on a rocky road, just don't make sure the rocks don't fall on top of your foot because that's not going to feel good. Obviously no protection in the shaft, in the heel. Heel is very soft. Uh, there's decent amount of um, protection from the outsole, but we will talk about the outsole later. So, let's move on to the criteria number three now, quality and design features. Quality-wise, Adidas Terex. Honestly, I have been uh, quite impressed with them so far. And interestingly, most of the stuff that I reviewed, it was very universal. So, most people will like it. This is a little bit different because this is very uh, kind of personalized. You have to be, you have to look for certain qualities in the shoe to appreciate, to truly, really appreciate um, the shoe. So it's it's very unique in a way whenever it comes to you know Adidas Terex in uh, general. Uh, but Adidas, honestly, overall, I have been very, very impressed with them in the past few months. I mean, they're, they're outdoor stuff. They know what they're doing. They're not just like, you know, because there's there's a lot of brands out there, big brands that are like making the hiking boots and, and then trail running shoes, and they have no idea what they're doing. And you can tell because it's, it's just stupid. <laughs> not the case with Adidas. Adidas, they definitely know a little bit about outdoors <laughs> whenever it comes to their outdoor stuff. Now, let's talk about the design features. Here, I talk about the lacing system. And here, as you can see in this shoe, the lacing system is super unique. I mean, check this out. It's like, wow, what is all this stuff? Yeah, so it's a, it's a bungee, bungee lacing system. Uh, and very similar to quick lace, like I said in the beginning, you're putting, you're sliding your foot in, all right? There's two straps here that hold the tongue to kind of give more pressure, uh, kind of give better support overall for the foot. But once you slide your foot in, you tighten this piece right here, and it gives you a very nice, very balanced wraparound feeling. So again, if you're one of those people, I personally like it quite a lot, that likes that wraparound feeling that holds your foot in place and gives you extra stability, you're gonna appreciate this. I, I'm definitely gonna appreciate it because it, it definitely gives you that with this whole uh, lacing system going throughout the whole shoe and creating the just very, very uh, balanced wraparound feeling. And then this, this is a little bit of a tripping hazard, but you can slide it in underneath here or, or, or here or stick it in or whatever. However you want to figure it out, you can, you can fig, fig, figure it out your own way. But done with the uh, all of that, let's move on to the criteria number four, outsole, traction and stability. And uh, because the outsole here is marbled, it's kind of weird. It's a little bit hard to tell exactly what it looks like. So I'll try to kind of show it closer to the camera. It is overall on the flatter side. There is decent amount of aggression, but on the wet grass, they're still slippery because I think Adidas could have done a little bit of a better job with an outsole. The grooves, the design pattern is good. However, as you can see, if you can see, the grooves are very much rounded. So that gives you a little bit of a slipperiness on the wet grass, uh, a little bit of an annoying weird noise on stuff like rubber, uh, marble tile and I you know I, I repeat it every time in my review I almost want to just don't repeat that but whenever it comes to testing whenever I do my run and my walk I do it on a variety of different surfaces just asphalt sand dry sand wet sand dry grass wet grass rocky road trail surface marble tile concrete rubber it just Really, I try to review it on, on as many things as uh, as possible. And obviously, whenever it comes to winter boots, I try to take them out and, and actually test them out in the winter and um, in the ice and the snow. Not in the winter, but ice and snow. Um, anyway, back to this outsole. 
like I said, it's good. It performs very well on pretty much everything. It performs very well on sandy surfaces, but on the wet grass, they are a little bit slippery. On the flat shiny surfaces, they are annoyingly loud. Um, too bad because it's a very very good rubber it, the quality of rubber is very very nice and it gives you good protection uh, like if you're running over the uh, rocky road you really don't feel anything you don't feel the rocks you know poking you in your foot from the bottom uh, but I wish it was a little bit more aggressive in that the grooves just had a little bit you know sharper edges but let's move on to the criteria number five now temperature obviously no point to talk about cold temperatures but in the summer in the hot temperature here in Florida um, very very nice very breathable um although i have to say this recycled material compared to normal fabric that adidas uses usually in their Terex stuff not as breathable not as impressive whenever it comes to the breathability okay let's move on to the criteria number six sizing these are true to the size usually i recommend getting half size bigger you don't have to get the half size bigger with these because they're super you know soft right here so you just get them in uh, in your size and we'll, they will work just fine. Now, the criteria number seven, <coughs> balance of application. So, if this really was your ultimate survival shoe, would this be good? Well, like I said, like I mentioned throughout the whole review, if you prefer, you know, not a lot of padding going around, all that sort of stuff, if you prefer something very, very lightweight, if you're okay with this lacing system, which personally to me, it's good whenever it comes to comfort, but functionality and practicality, I probably wouldn't go with something like that. First of all, it's a little bit of an extra tripping hazard. Second, it's not as easy to put it on, believe it or not, as, yeah, right? You, you would think that would be easier, but it's not. It's, it's really not just because you don't have that full kind of range of motion of the, <laughs> of the tongue here. Uh, but overall, this is a really really good shoe very good quality super lightweight i mean if you're looking for something that is lightweight you're really gonna uh, appreciate this and the very last criteria here is the price criteria number eight the price 71.39 currently on amazon the link is in the description below if you want to do your further research or if you are interested in buying uh, you can find the link in the description below. I think it's a decent price. It's a fair price for everything you're getting in the shoe. Is there competition in the price range? Absolutely. There is some really serious competition uh, for the this specific Adidas shoe uh, from Adidas themselves, from Sacconi, from, well, Salomon, no, you're not going to get that in the price. But Sacconi, I would say Sacconi and Adidas themselves would be the biggest competition to this shoe because in that price range, you might be able to find something better. And I will leave you with that, with a tough choice. I've done a bunch of reviews on this channel, so check them out. Maybe you will find something better for yourself. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. As always, appreciate your time. This was Ultimate Survival Gear, and I'll see you guys in the next video.